I'm Jason Arts. I'm product manager for the self-propelled forage harvesters for Midwest Ag for RDO Equipment Company. I'm based out of the Aberdeen location. Right now I'm standing in front of our 9500 self-propelled forage harvester. It's the smallest of our wide body machines. This one we're running right around 700 horsepower in this machine and we're running the 18 liter deer engine that's running um, with no def to meet final tier four emissions. So this is the only, the series that we run the 18 liter in right now as far as deer. Um, we run it in our 97, our 96, and our 9500 models. So we're covering horsepower ranges from 700 horse up to 800 horse in our 9700. This machine is set up pretty much just like our 9900 machine, which is our large body, large engine with a 24 liter V12 LeBear engine. Uh, the same body size and everything, just different horsepower range. With running this 18 liter John Deere engine with no def on it, it's one less fuel you have to worry about. Um, we get a better fuel um, gallons per hour out of it. We got to run on a low RPM as far as our peak torque on this one also. We're running 1800 at full throttle and our peak torque is at 1600. The benefits of not using DEF is you don't have the particulate filter and all the sensors to go with it to where we could have issues or service opportunities down the road. On this machine with the pickup head we have on here attached to it, we can actually do what we call a V opening on the cutter head for morning inspection or clean out or a quick reference. When we have a pickup head on it only, we can do the V opening. If we had a rotary head on this, in order to get it to close back up, there's too much front end weight on it and we can't get it to latch back up. So that's why we do it with a pickup head. If we had it a the rotary head on here, we'd actually have to drop the head and swing the cabinet open like we had on the 9900. So on this machine, we have uh, our pickup head. This one's our 649. Uh, we actually make three models this year that were released or been out, our 639, our 649, and our 659. About 10 days ago, John Deere just released a new 46R pickup head. They run a six bar pickup and they have a 31 inch auger with an eight inch flighting on it, which they're saying is 41% larger auger on it. We run a compression roller to keep the crop mat flat, pressed down. It just floats right on the crop. We have two different options as far as our pan or our rake. If we're doing grass and no alfalfa, there'll be a rake option you can put on here. So it'd be like harrow teeth on here. If we're doing alfalfa, we have a pan that we put on here. If you were using the rake on alfalfa, the, as the auger would bring the crop to the center, it would actually twist and rope that alfalfa and cause inconsistent feeding. We run a reverse flighting in the middle here for better feeding into our feed rolls. On this header we offer two different drives for these heads. We run a standard drive and we also run a dual header drive. Our dual header drive system is the only one in the market that we can run our pickup teeth to match our ground speed and our auger can match our feed roll speed. So you get into them big windrows and you get the guy that doesn't know how to merge very good and he's got a big pile, you can actually creep into that pile. Your pickup teeth won't suck that whole crop in at once. So we can match our ground speed to our, with our pickup speed for better consistent feeding across the head. On our pickup heads, we can order them with our Duraline part surfacing so any of this rough surfacing is our hard surfacing. So high wear points, they're going to be hard surfaced um, for longevity. Also, we've got reinforcement of flighting strips. We've got our crop feed paddles 
for inconsistent feeding. If we get into some heavier wind rows, we can actually adjust these out. We can flip them to different settings. When we have a metal trip or a foreign object trip like a stone detection, it'll stop this head. Our compression roller will automatically raise up and with our lift arms, it'll actually raise the auger up too as it goes up to, so you can get in there for better clearance. On our 46R head that they just released, they do not have auger lift linkages on that head mainly because you've got a 41% larger auger, you've got the room to get in there. We've got a trash net. When the baffle's down, it covers the auger to keep the leaves and stuff in the head rather than flying out to help keep everything in the head. Once again, I'm Jason Arts and product managers for the self-propelled forage harvesters for Midwest Ag. If you have any questions about the self-propelled forage harvesters, please contact me at the Aberdeen location. Thank you for watching. Connect with us by subscribing to Precision Ag Answers on YouTube and following RDO Equipment Company on social media. Visit rdoequipment.com for more Precision Ag resources and solutions.